And I, it, well, we, it's what, interesting. What Our say? studio is suddenly filled, filled up, filled up. up with people uh, ready to look at vampires, yes. which I thought didn't come out during the day. They don't normally, but well, they, they have especially for us. They, but then they, you don't always know they're vampires, you yes, see. Well, I know there's vampire rings and things that you can have. You can well, get I've exclusion heard. these we days. We should have got one. Yeah, we're talking about the vampire diaries. Big business vampires this year, especially Stefan and Damon Salvatore, the brooding brothers of ITV 2's The Vampire Diaries. Have a look at this. For over a century, I have lived in secret. Until now, I know the risk, but I have to know her. Lena, she's a dead ringer for Catherine. Take my wrist, you need more blood. <laughs> <laughs> You're really enjoying this, aren't you? Just watching me struggle? Very much so. You're like this other person. Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> well, we were just discussing what they were drinking there, but we'll find out in a minute because we but have the stars of the show in Summerholder, Nina Dobrev and Paul Wesley, all with us this morning. It's great to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Did you for have for to having fight us. Fight you, your you way? You don't often hear a vampire say that. Good morning, do you? <laughs> yeah. Well, we have the rings. <laughs> oh, That's yes. right. I, we just, but oh, you're not wearing them now. Uh -oh. Well, it's in my pocket. <laughs> uh, now let's explain. You two are both vampires, the two boys. Darling, I but can do this. But lovely Eleanor's not. Yes, I Elena's can do this. not Elena. a vampire. Ale uh, Nina, who yes. plays Elena, I can just see, here's the synopsis, here's, here's the story, is dating Stefan, um, who is Paul, right? Who for she now. knows... For now. Who, <laughs> you look very well for a 162-year-old. I have good, uh, good, good face makeup, creams. moisturizer, yeah. and yes. you know, all kinds of... Yes, he eats well. Oh, jeans? Yes, good jeans. Okay. <laughs> now, this guy here, Ian, is <laughs> Stefan's malevolent vampire brother, Damon. So he's the bad news. It's all about perspective. <laughs> <laughs> why, did, why did the two brothers not get on, then? Oh, wow. Well, deep rooted story. very deep rooted yeah. uh, issues with each other. We used to. We used to, we used to absolutely love each other. We yeah. were brothers. But yeah. a girl came in between us, oh, which is what happens. Is that you? Isn't that what always yeah. happens? Always well, happens. I mean, there's a long time for it to happen <laughs> over 164 years. I mean, you know, there's a lot of things can happen over that, uh, that yeah. time. But the, 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 the character, Nina, that you play, why is she integral? Uh, to these two, she, she's lived before, or they think she's lived before. Well, um, well, yeah. I mean, Catherine was the one who who got in between the two brothers. And you play both these parts. And I play Catherine in the 1800s, as well as Elena in present day. We get their money's worth out of you. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> they have me working long hours. I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah, she's the she's the girl that gets in between the two brothers and falls in love with both of them, and she's selfish and. And narcissistic and kind of crazy, and she, where Damon learned all of his. She taught Damon everything that he knows. <laughs> so I basically copied how Ian plays Damon, and vice versa. And it was it was a lot. It's a lot of fun to get to go back in the time and and put on the corsets and these big gowns and and do all that. But Sounds Ian, like a lot of fun. Corsets you, say where you can't you... eat, stand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> as an actress, as a performer, I love being this other person that's so different from myself. So that's why I like it. Not the fact that. I can't, minor details, yeah, no, I can't breathe, but <laughs> I mean, whatever. It has, it's huge, this show. Now, you started when, last March, the three mm -hmm. of you. Had you, yeah. had you worked together year, before? Did you know each months. other? Uh, we, no, we didn't. We had know, never, we didn't know each other. We actually I met you when other. we went Did to we? get fitted for our fangs. We got, we got fitted for our fangs. You still wearing yeah. yours? I, uh, I have permanent fangs. <laughs> yeah, I actually, actually committed to the role, so I chiseled my teeth. It's the only reason. Let's have a look. Give us a smile. They're the real deal. That's the only reason why they hired him. They want to save on special Just effects. Zoom in on my, on my vampire fangs. No, don't really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I brushed my teeth this. Uh, no, I did. I did, I did. Do, do you think that helped you getting getting the part? Um, I, I I was told that they. Well, actually, I remember on set being someone noticing that and being like, "Wait a minute!" And uh, are, are your teeth in? And so. I don't know. They could be lying. I, they could have just hired He's me. He's just for my a fangs. really good actor. That's what and, happens. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, but no, it's uh, apparently they didn't know. Now, am I right in thinking that in this series you have just had your first taste of blood? Indeed. 
Yeah. So what do they actually use on set? What, what's the uh, horrible, sickly, thick stuff that you have blood. to drink? We're like, yeah, we Feel use, blood. Uh, we use uh, a, a squirrel blood. And squirrel, little kids. Yeah, squirrel no, blood. Squirrel. Squirrel blood. We use nutritious, uh, amazing things that well, hopefully... Now we do. Now we do. It's like yeah. a fruit smoothie or something, is it? Right. Yeah, something <laughs> along those lines. But it wasn't always that way, and uh, yeah, I remember actually, watching there's a, a scene. There's this one that you teasered. Um, uh, <laughs> they accidentally put a massive corn syrup amount of corn syrup uh, in 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 a the, no. in, the cup. in a glass, and, and I, I left it for him, and <laughs> then he pounded it. I pounded it, and I was so nauseous and queasy. But this is a tribute to how committed Paul is. He was actually, and I just told him when we were driving over here. I said I would have, I would have set it down and. Told him to cut. Did another shot, but he was so committed. He said, "No, man, I was in it. I was, you know, I was really yeah. in it. And I just didn't want to. They carried on. Want to cut, but so many people are really into it. As I was saying, there's people queuing up on the street there to catch glimpses of you. Our studio was full this morning of uh, staff and crew uh, who, who want to see you. What is it with this revival with the Twilight series and whatever or, of vampires? What what do you think in as the the fascination? I mean, there's a, there's a couple of things. I mean, obviously, we always sort of attribute our success and, and appreciation by virtue of the fact that this massive box office success of Twilight happened. That's why we're here sitting, talking to you lovely people. And, and I don't think the genre ever died. I think it's just that, that it's a basis for really, really good storytelling. There's this, they're powerful, they're sexy, they're dangerous. They're unattainable. They're unobtainable. And, they're symbolic. Uh, they, they are symbolic, many. and I and I think that we. Uh, and they're sexy. I mean, look at these. Well, two why boys. do you, why do you say they're unobtainable? <laughs> I mean, you, yourself, so you know, as <laughs> the, the character that, that you play, Nina, um, she's got a boyfriend who's a vampire. She knows he's a vampire. Mm, at this point, she does. It, it, does she does she think about going over to the other side? She hasn't uh, considered that yet. No. And might I say that? Nor would I ever. My character would ever like uh, wish that upon her. He, he loves, loves her, her too much. doesn't he? He loves, he loves her too her much. So much. And he sees but she will live a, forever, will she not? She, she's mortal. She will grow old. You don't grow old. That's yeah. one, that is the, the sad tragedy to our romance. Yeah. That's so beautiful. And how is the that. whole, I mean, are we saying it, 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 it's so huge now and it's, it's shown all over the world and, and your big stars. How has that affected your lives? Are you enjoying the fame? Can you walk down the street now and go and have a coffee with a friend and not In the dark. be followed? We're all, <laughs> we are, listen, the, the success of this show we are so grateful for and we are having so much fun doing it and whatever comes in the wake of that we we welcome and appreciate and you know there are little comes changes that comes with the territory and if we were to sit up here and complain i tell you if it was the other way around and our show got cancelled <laughs> and nobody's watching it uh it, we'd be uh, pretty disappointed so yeah. the fact hey, that people we're are here. so we're, we're here, here in, and in london. we're very pleased you're here do you like london i love, love london as soon as yeah. we heard that there was an opportunity to come back, because we came a couple of months ago, we were, we all just jumped on it. So we get to do we get to travel. And, and do you like world. our view of London? This I, view, that's real. this is incredible. This view in New York and L.A. Whenever you do talk shows, it's usually a backdrop. Actually, when I walked I in, thought it was a backdrop. I thought it was a second. backdrop, and I was like, wait, the birds are moving. What are you <laughs> this is unbelievable. So very good. Do you ever also? Uh, it's the home of the the Hammer horror films, the Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing. Oh yeah. Vampires and Dr. Yeah. Helsing and all that sort of thing. Have you ever seen those movies? Yeah, have you yeah I love Christopher Lee. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, those are some of the best ones. Here, the, you know, it's kind of funny that we're now in this sort of vampire world uh, when we all have our individual, not likes and dislikes, but the, the different tastes. I mean, again, the basis for storytelling, there's so many avenues in which vampires have taken throughout history. Yes. And. Uh, from Bella Lugosi, right? Yeah. Through. Christopher Lee, I, I, I've had the privilege of interviewing him and meeting him. He is a huge, tall man. He's mm -hmm. must be six foot four, six foot five. He's got this magnificent, sallow look and these these burning eyes. He looks a vampire, believe me. You guys look cuddly, gorgeous in comparison. <laughs> he, he is amazing. We're cuddly, but uh, I'm sure yeah. you are. Lots of people <laughs> would say Don't that. Be fooled. Pretty Don't cuddly, be fooled, Damon. It's been a delight seeing you. We are surrounded Thank with garlic. Coming. Don't try anything. <laughs> <laughs> I know there is going to be series two, isn't there? So that's good. We know yes. that yes. that's good. It's all yes. continuing. We, we won't ask you what happens. July. Thank Good. you. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. ITV2, Tuesday at uh, 9 p.m. Uh, here's the competition. £25,000. Have a go.